Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm excited to be here today. I'm featuring the Let It Snow Embellishment Kit. So this is the kit that you can find in the holiday catalog, the current holiday catalog, on pages 18 and 19. So samples on this side, and the kit is right here. And I'm going to point out one more important thing on this page, and that is the number right here, the 153386. That's if you want it all bundled. You get everything on this page with that one number. So you might want to check that out. It's a quick, easy way to order. But the kit, or the Let It Snow Embellishment Kit that I'm featuring today has these stickers. So the coal, the noses, the arms, some a sparkly washi tape, and the felt pieces, and even some little snowballs. So we're gonna feature two of these products, the felt and the washi tape today. This is the stamp set I'll be using, the Let It Snow, and I will be using the Coordinating Punch. I like this because even though it has the Merry Christmas in it, it also has Let It Snow, the Let It Snow and the Snowmen, so that you can use it for after Christmas. It also has the to and from, so you can use it to make some tags. There are some additional dies that I'm using and an embossing folder, and I'll talk about those as I use them. So we're going to start out, I have a piece of the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. It's double-sided. I am using this side, and I don't have to put anything down on this, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my liquid adhesive and glue that down. And that's going to go right onto a piece of real red cardstock that's five and a half by eight and a half inches scored in half. So I've j or scored at four and a quarter and folded in half. And this is going to be my card base. And that's all I need to do for that part. So now I have a piece of flirty flamingo. That is one of the featured colors in this um, cardstock or the DSP, the designer series paper that I'm using. The snowflakes from the stamp set, and I am just going to stamp them randomly on the back here. Okay, there. so I've created my own piece of uh, Flirty Flamingo Designer Series paper. And on this, I'm gonna grab that, here we go, we have that washi tape, which I'm just going to put a little strip. So now I even have created my own specialty paper right on there. So I just rip that so it's flush up with the ends. There we go. So the nice thing about washi tape is it cuts up nicely. Okay, with that layering circle die set, I have used this die here to cut a circle for my background, and this is from Coastal Cabana. And I'm using the Swirls and Curls embossing folder, and I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot. So after that comes out, then I have the fun embellishment there on that piece of cardstock. I will be using a piece of the Whisper White, and I'm going to use the Memento Black with the, for the snowman. The snowman will line up with the punch, the snowman builder punch. So we're just gonna stamp that guy there. I'm not going to try to line up my arms the arms are cut from this. The Snowman Builder Punch will also cut these arms out. It's gonna cut the two right there. It also cuts a hat, but since I'm using the felt from the Let It Snow kit, I don't need to worry about the hat. Because the stamp set is foldable polymer, I can actually line up my stamp image with the paper. So it's a little bit harder to line those up with the white on white here. I would probably, if I'm working on this, I would grab a different piece or different color paper to do that on the background. Then I'm going to use the dark pumpkin pie blend and I'm just going to color that nose in. That's all the color I'm going to add to this snowman. With the stitched nested label dies, I cut out this shape from Whisper White cardstock and with real red, we're gonna just stamp that sentiment right on there. The nice thing about the photopolymer is that you can line it up after you've die cut it. So it actually is a bit easier to use it sometimes like I did with the little arms after you've already cut it out. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and, and put this together. I will be gluing down the pieces with liquid glue. You could also use mini glue dots. Mini glue dots work great for holding this down. I'm 
using a little bit of liquid glue there and I'm gonna glue down the scarf and I'm gonna hold that just for a moment while that sets up. Okay, I've used a mini glue dot underneath the hat. You do need to let the, the glue liquid glue dry if you wanna use the liquid glue with the felt. Otherwise, the mini glue dots work well and I did use the mini glue dot under the hat. Okay, let's just add his arms under here. Okay, to finish this off, I have some of the holiday rhinestones. So I'm just going to use one of the larger rhinestones here, right on the edge of the Let It Snow, and then we'll go move up into the smaller ones up into this area here. So the holiday rhinestones are also in the holiday catalog and they come pre-colored in these colors for you. So there's a darling little way that you can use the Let It Snow. I use the washi tape and the felt from that. Be sure to stay tuned for another holiday video. Thanks for watching.